The objective is to divide three and four digit dividends by two digit divisors, resulting in two and three digit quotients. Can I divide five hundreds by seventeen? Not without regrouping. I can work with fifty nine tens though. We can divide fifty nine tens into seventeen groups. Tell me how to estimate fifty nine tens by seventeen. My estimate for fifty nine tens divided by seventeen is sixty tens divided by twenty, which gives us three tens. So our estimated answer is three tens. Let's see what our solution is. Seventeen can't go into five hundreds, so you have to use fifty nine tens, and seventeen goes into fifty nine tens three whole times, because 3 times 17 is 51, and 59 minus 51 is 8. So we regroup those 8 tens, at the 1s, with the zero ones. so we have 80 ones divided by 17. 80 ones divided by 17 is 4, because 4 times 7 is 68. 80 minus 68 is 12, and 12 is our remainder. For our check, we multiply 17 times 34, and then we'll add in the 12. 4 times 17 is 68. Place a 0. 3 times 7 is 21. 1, regroup a 2. 3 times 1 is 3, plus 2 is 5, and we can add those together. And don't forget to add in the remainder to see that the problem actually does check. Here we have 887 divided by 27. Can we divide 800s by 27? Nope. We have to change the 800s to 80 tens. And so 80 tens along with the 8 tens is 88 tens. And then so we can divide 88 tens by 27. For our estimate, instead of 88 tens, we'd be looking at 90 tens. And instead of 27, we're looking at 30. 90 tens divided by 30 is equal to 3 tens, or 30. So that's what we'll use as we are dividing. 3 times 27, 3 times 7 is 21, 1, regroup a 2, 3 times 2 is 6, plus 2 is 8. And then so when we have 77, we now regroup it to 77 ones, which we can go ahead and divide. 2 times 27 is 54, and then we can subtract those to get our remainder. And run a check. 7 times 2 is 14. 4, regroup a 1. 7 times 3 is 21. Plus 1 is 22. Place a 0 because that 2 is worth 20. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 3 is 6. And add those together. After I add them, I'll add back in my remainder. And you'll see it does check. Read my problem with me. 887 divided by 27 equals 32 with a remainder of 23. Okay, it's your turn. 737 divided by 32. Pause the video while you do your work. Do you say that it goes in 2 times? 2 times 32 is 64. 73 minus 64 is 9. Bring down the 7. Goes in 3 whole times, because 3 times 32 is 96. 97 minus 96 is 1, so our remainder is 1. Doing our check for that problem.
3 times 3 is 9, 3 times 2 is 6. Adding those together, we get 736. Add the 1, we get 737. Compare your work with that on the screen. Here's another one for you. Show me the standard algorithm and the check. And there's your solution. For your check, you would have 18 multiplied by 53. 3 times 8 is 24. 4, regroup a 2. 3 times 1 is 3. Plus 2 is 5. Place a 0. 5 times 8 is 40. 0, regroup a 4. 5 times 1 is 4. 5 times 1 is 5. Plus 4 is 9. Add those two together and then add in the remainder to show that it does equal 962. So our problem checks. What are we dividing by? Right, 41. What are we dividing? 839. Can we divide 800s by 41? No. We can divide 83 tens, though, by 41. If we were to do an estimate for that, we would be looking at divided by 40, and like I was saying before, those numbers are tens. This case will go to 80 tens. 80 tens divided by 40 is 2 tens. So we'll use that to help us with our solution as we're dividing. So again, we had 839 divided by 41, and we start with those 2 tens that we were using. 2 times 41 is 82. 83 minus 82 is 1, and we bring down the 9. Take 19 here and divide it by 41. It's 0, because 0 times 41 is 0, and 19 minus 0 is 19. So our remainder is 19. Run a check. 41 times 20. Place a 0. 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times 4 is 8. And add in the 19 to get 839. So that's our check. So that's how it is that you can divide by two digits and receive a two-digit answer.